Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Abzan Knights. This is our next donation deck of the day. So we have a tribal aggressive deck based around Knights. So we have not only Dauntless Bodyguard, which just left. Get back in here, Dauntless Bodyguard. There we go. So we got a lot of Knights. You know, Bodyguard is our one drop that can help protect our other ones, we have our two drops of Knight of Grace and Knight of Malice that are, you know, better against different colors with the Hexproof from black and Hexproof from white. Our three drop slot is really where we shine. We have Benelish Marshall growing all of our creatures. We have History Benalia, which is one of our standout cards for sure. Um, and the real payoff to being Knight Tribal here with that third chapter, giving all of our Knights plus two, plus one. We have Midnight Reaper for some card advantage, and yep, this is a knight. It's a zombie knight. And we also have Knight of Autumn. That's just kind of our, our Swiss autumn knife to just kind of, you know, do anything that we need, depending on the game and on the situation. Besides the History Banalia, we have Valiant Knight to be another payoff for our knights, giving all of our knights plus one, plus one, and... Really, that, that second ability is quite strong. Uh, five mana, uh, your knights, you control gain double strike. That is a very strong ability that will hopefully be um, activating and using this this time. Oh, yes, Swiss Autumn Knight. I think I might have said knife. I meant knight. Yeah, it's a Swiss Autumn Knight. Um, let's see. Sideboard, we have some duresses that are not so good. We need to get some better duresses up in here. And then Baffling End, and of course, Takali Honor Guard against the Sultai Dex. Reaper for some more card advantage against Control. Seraph is just good against Control and good against Aggro. It can kind of come in uh, in a variety of matchups. And if we need more, even more card advantage, we'll have these Karns, which we haven't used... 3D Karn yet, so this will be a new one. So let's give it a try. Abzan Knights. Kind of mono white splashing black and green for the most part. Oh, more. There's not too many legendary creatures. I like I like cast down. I'm not sure I'm not sure if I remember us having too many mortifies, but our three mana slot is just so so filled up. <laughs> yeah, Knight of Autumn is the least knight like knight. I'd agree with that. Mind Finality could be a, a good option for the deck also. Knight. Esper Control. Boo. Boo Esper Control. Want to protect the Knight of Malice, it's going to be more valuable. I guess that's wait, that's probably not even true. I don't, I don't know why I was thinking it was like blue white control, but no, they're as for where they have cast down. Yeah, Knight of Malice may not even be more valuable. Like, Knight of Malice cannot be targeted by Teferi. I think I'm in there. Let's go for it. Kill our opponent next turn. They don't have a sweeper. No sweeper. Don't do it. Okay. Cannot cast Kaya's Wrath with two basic islands. 
cannot cast Kai's Wrath. And put on it picks him up. Very nice getting having us get game one against control with us bringing in all of these different cards. Knight of Autumn, not super useful here. And we brought in other fours. Oh, we have cast down also. Let's keep like one Knight of Autumn, two Valiant Knight. Two Knight of Autumn, one Valiant Knight. Because we do, you know, having the ability to kill Sir Triscanta is certainly uh, beneficial. Could just go zero Valiant Knight, three Knight of Autumn. Hmm. What do I play this weekend in a tournament I wanted to win? I would, I would need uh, quite a bit of practice. Um, it would either be Quasi Dupla Ooze or Grixis Discard. It would probably be Grixis Discard, but I would want to play Quasi Dupla Ooze or Simic Adapt, like one of those, a decent amount to see if I to see if I really like those those two decks. But I guess if I had to just submit a deck right now for a tournament, it would be Grixis Discard. We're playing green for Knight of Autumn. That is just really good in a variety of matchups. And oh, I just I should have played the Guild Gate. What am I doing? I was talking about the decks, and I yeah, definitely should have just played the Guild Gate. Well, we can still go night, then night. We're going to draw another land. So it won't hurt us too bad. Ox, I don't understand the question. Twilight Prophet. Yeah, need that Gates cosmetic bundle, yep. We are really close to getting another uh, gem pack. If anybody else has a donation deck that they would like to see played sometime this week. And we can get that Gates Cosmetic Bundle, the new one there. Oh, that's too bad. Merchant didn't do too well with Grixis Discard. That's too bad. So this is a tough attack. If our opponent has two mana removal, we're just wasting a Knight of Grace. But you know, definitely hoping they don't have two mana removal here. Uh, they did. And I guess I didn't need to play this Knight of Grace. I don't hate it, I like having it down. That's really unfortunate they had a two mana removal spell. I getting through this Twilight Prophet? I guess with this thing. I guess that thing can get through Twilight Prophet. 
I just should not have played my creature first main the last turn. No, because if I play Benelish Marshal, they mortify my Benelish Marshal. And then we don't get to attack through. So next turn I'll play Benelish Marshal and attack with everybody. And you know, even though they can mortify Benelish Marshal next turn, they're still taking lethal through a mortify. So they they have to have more than just mortify for next turn. Okay, well, that is more than mortify. That was a really good card for them to have. Right, I guess we're just attacking in and sacking one knight to deal six to them and draw a card. That three life the, that absorb gain too. Hey, what's up, Huday? Wait, wait. All right, all, all in. No spell. All right, abs and knights, get it done against Weird Esper. And we're one to know. <clears throat> our deck does a pretty good job of yeah fighting against Esper yeah our decks our cards are really good against uh, more like those those two drop knights are really good against mortify their two four shut us down for a while mm. six land to one land. We only have 23 lands. We have to go to five. Oh, come on. Can't we just play some games? I'm not I'm not sure if the fifty dollar pre order on arena is really worth it. Does anybody have any anybody done any math or have any um big opinions on that that pre order? Yeah, the Moldafor was the seven minus three cards. Instead of having six lands in a Valiant Knight, we just took three of the lands and shuffled them back in. I think that the new mulligan 
rule honestly is probably really good for standard. I I'm more concerned about it for other formats, but less chance of like this these kind of games happening. Dang. No land. Opponent down to 13. Dang. This is a mean curve against a four card hand. Vedanto Vanguard into History of Benalia, into Aurelia, into Skargan Hellkite. That's a mean two through five curve. Bomberdan with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Bomberdan. What's your name with Unmoored Ego versus Gates first? Guild Summit or what? I mean, it, it, I guess it, it kind of depends on, you know, depends on your deck, depends on anything else that's been played, all that kind of stuff. Guild Summit is certainly a good target if you're playing some kind of, like, a Grixis deck that can't deal with it, for example. I don't know, this is going to be kind of a tough one. I don't even know if I really want these baffling ends. I'll go with that one baffling end, three Night of Autumn. Or go down to two. No, Night of Autumn's good. Yeah, we don't need no baffling in. No, we don't. Yeah, we just we can just attack over. You know, we can make our creatures a lot bigger with the help of uh, Benelish Marshal and Valiant Knight and a Johnny. We just had awful hands this match. Pressing. Deck's hating us. So unclaimed territory is is going to be a keep, but it's just the worst land we could have. Oh, I could just play the bodyguard on one. I'm just so used to not having a play. And I was talking about unclaimed territory because the problem with unclaimed territory is it's not going to help us cast history. Still naming knight because of Benelish Marshall and things like that, even though Angel could it technically help us cast the Seraph. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? Seriously? 
the first eruption. card is awesome against us here. You know, the first chapter killed my Dauntless Bodyguard. They didn't do anything with the, the mana from the second chapter. But they would have played like a dragon. Now the third chapter is just going to be... It's not a May. So it's a sacrifice of Mountain. Deals three damage to everything. So it, it did destroy one of their lands, but it... You know, this first eruption plus a land killed two of my things. <laughs> yeah, you have to sacrifice a mountain to deal with the damage with it. Doesn't just give you that damage for free. Yep, it's the mountain erupting. You think with like a mountain erupting, you could do a little more than three damage, but Shall I makes the cast down useless? Just seems like a settle the wreckage. Now we mulled the four the first game. And then mulled the five the second game. Are a couple of pretty rough games for us with the mold of four, mold of five. So we are one and one. Yeah, they had settled there. All right, I like it. We actually have four lands, three spells. I like it quite a bit. Ooh, the opponent's using the red sleeves. Those look pretty nice. Knight of Grace does a great job blocking, but of course is not uh, does not stay alive for too long with with it dying to shock. <laughs> the Balrog avatar, it's Rakdos, but yeah, I could see it being Balrog. <laughs> That's pretty good. Knight of Autumn's uh, can gain us a lot of life or help us trade with Steamkin, because. Steamkin can be a, a big problem for us if it, you know, it's a 4-4 attacking and everything. 
gaining four life with Knight of Autumn doesn't really help uh, against a 4 4. So let's see. Let's start with history. Good place to start. Get a couple bodies. Oh, is it flee, you fools? I thought it was fly. Fly, you fools. Is it flee, you you flu you fools? Flee, you fools. It's fly. Uh, you watched it in German. <laughs> okay. So we only get one spell here. And so I guess we just want knight and this knight. I think I want to just make it a 4-3. So if I gain 4, the knight can like trade with these other things, but then like this steamkin is problematic. If I gain four, they they also just have the firebrand kill it. Let's make it a four three. Does our opponent want to trade just Steamkin and Firebrand for Knight of Autumn? Wow, because that is awesome. Wow, that is great for us. We'll take that. Well, even though we're drawing a couple of lands here, so is the opponents. Can't be too mad about that. Yeah, we could save save the second one for Frenzy. The thing is, is like, we don't really have... If we just kind of wait for Frenzy... That's, like, how we lose to Frenzy. Like, I, I want to just, you know, take advantage of, like, these couple cards we have and just attack our opponent and everything. Shock Skewer. Down to six. We'll take another knight. How you doing, Hawkeye? Okay. He's gonna sit right there. Sounds good. And that's you. No more chapels.
Don't know what our opponent has over there. Hoping it's just a land. Doesn't seem like it. Oh boy. That's a great card to draw. So if I take four next turn, they risk factor again. Um, I have to let them draw three. And then they have two mana plus, you know, like they have the land, like they have anything to deal two damage to me. I'm going to let them draw and pray, overtaking it and pray. Have them draw a lot of lands. Or at least we can block creatures. Banish Marshall was a good draw. Wasn't our, our absolute best draw. Like the Valiant Knight would be a better draw of like the same kind of thing. Draw more lands. More lands. So those will trade. Knight of Grace will kill that. I either block here and have these trade. And then we have the two first strikers against Chain Whirler and a 1-1 one, one, and we're at three. Or we can go to one and block this. And then we draw a cast down and we win. Or another Benelish Marshal or Valiant Knight. So Valiant Knight, Benelish Marshal, cast down any of these win. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Because our, one of our Knight of Graces is dying. So let's not have the Knight of Grace die. Let's block over here. There we go. Not, not have one of those die. There we go. That's what I wanted. A Johnny? Oh, it's so close to being a win. Not quite, though. It is good to see you, my friend. So let's... Better than minusing? I don't think so. We still need you. Ah, uh, Viashino. Yeah, there's nothing. We can't gain life. You can't get Knight of Autumn back. We are so close, Hawkeye. We were so close. All right, so let's get the baffling ends in here. Jason Sun with the Twitch Prime Sun. Thank you, Jason. Thanks for getting that Twitch Prime sub up in here. Definitely Midnight Reaper. Let's get all the Midnight Reapers.
So we'll take that out. I think I'm gonna take out Bodyguard too, with how it, you know, like, we had to, like, die into Chain Whirler. I don't know, let's get these Honor Guards, or some of these Honor Guards at least in here. I guess Honor Guard is not a combo with Knight of Autumn, I suppose. That's not a good combo. Maybe not. Think we should get Jurassic instead of Bodyguard? I could see that. Alright, I could see that. Alright, okay. Need to pick up some wins here. Hmm. Why does our deck hate us? Do y'all think I should keep this? Or do we go to five yet again? For the third time in four games? We have a couple of people saying keep. We have two two mana removal spells. I think I'm gonna keep. I like having the removal spells. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try to draw some lands here. At least I like these Orzhov sl sleeves. These are a good one. So far, I've liked basically all of the sleeves except for except for Demir. Not shiny enough. So using the sorcery speed thing right now, so that if we don't hit another land, like maybe we keep the. Instant speed cast down available. <laughs> I know, I did not pay for the Shuffler Manipulator 2.0. That is true. We did really well with Soul Type Vanifar. Pretty sure it was five wins. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we got five wins with that. Yeah, we did. It's just a really good deck. I, th I think our one loss was a, a, against another Soul Tide deck, but we also defeated a Soul Tide deck as well. Ah. It is, of course, up on YouTube. All the, all the replays are there. YouTube channel, youtube.com slash totstevensmtg. Our opponents had a really solid hand. Steamkin on two. Warboss on three. On four, they had Steamkin plus Light Up the Stage. And now on five, they've had Viashino Pyromancer, Viashino Pyromancer, Lightning Strike, Wizard's Lightning. Yeah, Hawkeye, okay, that's pretty good.
Yeah, we had we had a couple of really long, really good long games with Sultai Vanifar, uh, the last two rounds. And just keeps getting better. What cards would help against Esper to put in the sideboard against Esper? For for what deck? Like what deck are you playing? That you want to put in cards against Esper with? They hit two lands on top. No, they did not. All right, for this deck, I like I like how we have Duress, Midnight Reaper in the sideboards. Those are Midnight Reaper and Duress are certainly good cards against Esper. Um, more Planeswalkers are good too. I like a Johnny a whole lot. You know, we have the Karns over here. I honestly think that a Johnny's probably a better card than Karn. And maybe just want more of Johnny's. For Esper, but... Alright, so review of the deck. Obviously, we had to mulligan a ton. We had to lose a lot of one-landers. But kind of looking at it, we're a 23-land deck. And that's going to happen a decent amount with only 23 lands. For a deck that has to hit three land drops, like we can't we can't possibly win if we don't hit three land drops. And then even like four, we really want to hit our fourth land drop. We want to hit three and four lands. I'm I'm pretty skeptical that 23 is enough, especially how we're playing three different colors. I'm pretty skeptical that 23 will consistently hit us three and four lands enough. As we saw with that league, it didn't. I'd be more comfortable with the 24th land in here. In here. Um, besides that, I think last time what we talked about is like maybe just Night of Autumn not being worth it for the the third color, and I'm still kind of on that of just not sold that Night of Autumn's worth it for a third color. That Night of Autumn would be better than just having other like having like a Danto Vanguards and Midnight Reapers and more Johnnies kind of thing. I think I remember that's what we talked about last time. Yeah, we'll do a client restart here after this. Um, so you said 22 lands will hit its third land drop on turn three 90% of the time. So remember we're a three color deck also. Does that help us get our colors? Like, are we able to, to, you know, like reliably cast like these things and I just like the mana consistency of, of two color decks, how you can just get to play so many basics also. We don't have to play so many of these tap lands and shock lands and guild gates and things like that. I think aggressive decks just going with two colors is really nice. So I would personally just not play Knight of Autumn and have like Mortifies as like enchantment removal and you can have anti-red cards with like Shalai and Lyra. I'll kind of just move towards, you know, Orzov with that. But there we go. That's uh, kind of a couple thoughts on the deck. But that was Abzan Knights. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.